It's so Opens, the super mega movie compilation that people kept asking for might be coming down the line, so you better be ready for it because it's going to be a really freaking long compilation. Okay, bye. It is time to cleanse your mind with, and I quote, Mother Nature's perspiring mind Thinkerinos by Tumblr. We can feel every surface in our body simultaneously, but don't even notice it. The hospital you were born in is the only room you can exit without actually entering. It's always easier to be asleep unintentionally on the couch than intentionally on bed. Mood. So glad that hair doesn't have pain receptors in them, otherwise haircuts would become a nightmare. The wheel is great and everything, but the guy who invented the axle doesn't get enough credit. Having checkpoints when scrolling through apps so you don't have to accidentally go back all the way to the top would make a lot of sense, and that's a million dollar idea, I'm gonna take it. Wonder how beautiful it may be to have rings on our planet like Saturn? Just looking up at the night at these shimmering lines encircle the sky above us. And then, they get closer. Uranium has about 18 billion calories per gram, so eating a gram of uranium is technically enough food to last you for the rest of your life. Forbidden power bar. Easter makes more sense to dress up as zombies than Halloween. Love it. Next time someone says you look familiar, tell them you do porn. The word swims is the same upside down. You have to write it and then flip it over and then it'll just blow your mind. A gif is the silent film of our era. Straight up fact. The most successful serial killer ever is probably a truck driver that targets dads going out for smokes. Why did you take my day? 99% positive reviews is more credible than the 100% positive reviews. We have found the Sharon's true purpose. The lap is a body part that only exists in one position. And finally, the fact of phonetically isn't spelt phonetically is ridiculous. And this has been Thanks, I Hate It by Tumblr. Concept. The secret boss of a video game is the merchant you've traded with this whole time, and their combat capabilities are based on entirely what you sold them. For example, did you sell them necromancy skill books? Well, damn, now they could summon a skeleton army. Yeah, I'm really scared of the guy with 30 rusty iron swords and 200 fruitcakes. Bring it on, Chad! The worst things about dinosaurs no longer being around is I can't kiss them on the tops of their massive scaly heads! Same with saber-toothed tigers and woolly mammoths. Making this post has made me realize that humans basically only have two instinctual responses to seeing a big dangerous animal. That's a dog, and that's a cat. I give you Harvey Ball, creator of the smiley face. He looks like he's seen the devil with his own two eyes. Good for him. It occurred to me that bingo night and bridge night at the senior center will probably be D&D &D night when we get there. And now I'm ready to retire. Hashtag move. Speaking of moods. So I work at a retirement home and one of the residents heard me saying mood all the time. And she asked what it meant and now she won't stop saying it. Other resident fell over and she was like, mood. OP, you are adding invasive elements to a fragile ecosystem. Society is going to collapse because of this. Mood. To clarify, one time I dreamt I was watching a horror movie and the main characters were in a cage trying to escape this guy with a creepy laugh. Then suddenly my surroundings changed and now I was part of the movie too and helping them escape. I think you dreamt of the Smurfs. Why are people wondering what's under Diglett and Doug Trio? Seriously, look at this. So you're telling me there's a Brock underneath every Doug Trio? Did Harry Potter really have a currency called nuts? How did preteen, and let's be real, 20 year old, wizards deal with that? And how are you paying for your pre-ordered copy of Super Rad and Probably Very Dangerous Beasts and Where to Totally Find Them by Rubius Hagrid? With these nuts! Oh, for those questioning my sexuality, I swing both ways. Violently, with a bat. Come get some, motherfuckers! Gamers will see water and be like, Ugh, I am physically incapable of digesting this. You really stuck up on this gamers don't drink anything idea, huh? Gamers have cold blood and live in the sand! Did Pokicho just call us gamers lizard people? I think he just did.
I was chatting with a donor before I drew his blood, and he was a dentist. When I actually drew him, there was a little squirt of blood, and it surprised him. I looked him in the eye and told him, You're bleeding because you don't floss. He went dead silent. Behold the four, ladies, gaities, ladies, and Hades. You know, goth, they, them, lesbians get to be all four. Oh my god, they have the gift! I have this problem where the other day for me ranges from yesterday to around five years ago. And a friend of mine is literally anybody I've ever heard of whose opinion I like. I'm guilty of both of these. Why are there so many cat girls in anime? I'll get it! Where are all the dog girls? I just remembered an anime with a dog girl and I immediately regret this post. Wait, what anime has a dog girl? Full Metal Alchemist. We bought Mountain Dew flavored lip balm and now we just keep saying, Bro, I need some gamer fuel! And kissing each other. And this isn't a cute relationship post! We are four grown men who are supposed to be working right now! Bros can kiss when they want to, bro, it's not weird! It's for gamer fuel! I wish I lived in Tokyo so I could die Jobu hamburgers into my mouth every day. Daijobu means be okay, or I am okay. Uh, Pocky? Wish I lived in Tokyo so I can never be questioned again. I mean, just try being right and you won't be. No. The pros and cons of making things. Pro, the thing, and cons, make. You summed up the struggle of all creators ever so nicely. Oh, shit. I don't believe any boy who says I'm not like the other guys unless he has snow-white hair, glowing green eyes, that can walk through walls, disappear, and fly. Your bed is probably as happy to see you as you are to see it. Oh, here comes the warm slab, it thinks. Wrong, it thinks. God, hope this dipshit doesn't spill beans all over me again. Who the fuck eats beans in bed? Stop blogging this. New year, new me. I haven't spilled beans in bed once this year. Uh-oh. What if a Ouija board was like an afterlife call center? Hey, Joey, line 396 is open. Three teenagers in the dark want to talk to some ghost or something. I'm gonna prank them so hard. Joey, no. I'm gonna say I'm Satan. Joey, this is why they made a shitty movie about us! Oh, shit, I forgot the interrupting scream. Well, I've done it for so long. It's time to make you all do it. Some of you might know this. Wisconsin. I don't know, the people there are cool, but they do not shut the fuck up about cheese. Cheese hat. I must keep the death no secret. If anyone finds out, I'll go to infinite prison. It's me, I'm police. Hello, police. I'm holding a magic notebook that kills people when I write their names in it. Oh, shit. Hey, man, you want a cupcake? What's wrong with it? Blood? Glass? Guts? Gum? Some kind of fucking poison demon? Raisins? It's just a cupcake, man. <laughs> We've got bites. Michigan. You ain't from Michigan if you never did this before. The floor, what the fuck does this mean? <laughs> You're studying. A true lady. A fancy baby. A cutie pie countess. Strong, determined feline. A queen. A queen deserves a queen's feast. <laughs> is that an animal dick you're drawing? Listen, I'm not gonna tell you this entire house is funded by me drawing this stuff. But it is. I guess the real question here is how can you not like Tesla? He thought women would eventually rule the world because they were the dominant sex. He liked pigeons. He was a vegetarian. He was a babe. He was shy. He hated Edison, as we all do. And he's perfect. Yeah, as long as you're okay with that time he went bockers and tried to build a death ray. Are you serious? The death ray was the best part! So, I meant to say, oh crap, I left my phone in my car. But what I almost said was, oh no, I left my cone in my far. And damn, would have that been embarrassing? But I caught myself, and what I actually said was, ah, my fart cone. So anyway, whenever I'm in a group project, I'm like, give me the easiest job so I won't disappoint anyone. But I'm also like, no, let me do everything, you're doing it all wrong! If you wake up much earlier than normal, you feel secret emotions. One time I woke up at like 7 a.m. and I stared at the sunrise for like an hour. Don't know what emotions those were, but they sure were a lot. If you stay up late enough, you feel the same emotions, but the bad version of them. Okay, how come reading tea leaves is seen as sophisticated witchy thing? But if I slam dunk an open can of Chef Boyardee ravioli onto the pavement in the gas station parking lot to see what kind of soda the old ones think I should buy, food innovation suddenly isn't cool anymore? Like seriously? Guy orders custom size 14 and a half slipper, 
company sends size 1450 instead. That is the opposite of a problem. A new bed! Are, are you sure this isn't a mistake? Why would it be a mistake? You never look at a horse, sweet Shahan. You never look at a horse in the mouth. Ugh, fuck, P please help me. It's gift. Never give the horse in the mouth! Despicable is a valid movie. Facebook moms just decided the minions were funny instead of paying attention to the found family message that it's actually about. It was simply about a bald Russian man with fucked up legs that learned that loving his three adopted daughters is more important than stealing the moon. Sometimes a family can be a top-heavy triangle man, a mad scientist, three girls, and several thousand banana-flavored Tic Tacs. I still don't understand that movie. Like, what? Why is there a bald man who's a mad scientist with a Russian accent trying to steal the moon and who let him adopt kids? The children. Hmm. Here we see a baby wiggle floof cleaning its tiny squish beans. Highly technical terminology, you understand. We must be scientific about the floofy wiggums. My assessment of this wiggle floof is an eight-point squeeze on the DAW scale. I've never been this annoyed reading comments on a photo of a cat in my life. Guess what? Chicken butt? I have been defeated! Sweet release! Dystopian novels be like, there's no music but our national anthem and this forbidden rebel song. As if all Earth is really gonna let go of ABBA music. Consider, the Forbidden Rebel songs are all from ABBA. Mamma Mia, here I go again. A new version of Phineas and Ferb is being released. It is on a streaming service and will be rated MA. Everyone wonders what this mature version of their beloved's kids show will be. The first season is released and you started watching it. It's just the same as the first season of the old show. Is this some elaborate joke? Finally, at the end of the first episode, it happens. Dr. Doofenshmirtz is defeated, as he usually is. And this time, however, as Perry is making his exit, you hear Doofenshmirtz yell, Fuck you, Blurry the Blatterbus! This is the only thing that has changed in the show. And I love everything about it. I'm on medication that can make me spacey as fuck, which can be a problem when I'm driving. Like yesterday, for example, when my best friend was trying to help me avoid a pothole, he said to the left, and I just mumbled, Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> hit the pothole straight on. Fuck, big mood. Writing prompt. Reincarnation is a known, common, and expected result of death. You are a bounty hunter that specializes in tracking down people who have committed suicide to escape debts or a jail sentence. It's a girl, the doctor explained. It's a fucking tax dodger is what it is. Blaze, the flame Hogan burst into the infirmary, cocking his shotgun. This baby owes $440 million to the government. Foiled again. I'll get away next time, Blaze. The baby clenches their tiny fist. All right. I'm not going to say it again. A bog is a wetland that is acidic, and a fen is a wetland that is alkaline. Finally, someone said it. A swamp is a wetland whose vegetation consists of trees or other woody plants, and a marsh is a wetland with the other forms of vegetation. A little louder for the people in the back! I love it when dogs are in guard, but not in full bark mode yet, and they just whisper, Bruff, bruff. Oh, it's precious. Back when I was a beekeeper, my bees were really gentle, and one time I scooped up a handful of them, and I got really emotional. I wanted to kiss them, and I essentially face-planted myself into a palm full of bees while crying. And that's the most important fact about me. If giving fairies your name makes it belong to them, then does the same apply to giving them any of your possessions as well? Can I take your coat? Yeah, sure, thanks. No, thank you. Wait, what the fuck? Buffet, do crime. Why would suburban super cities depopulate? Plague, obviously. Oh, cool, something to look forward to in 2020. Oh, for fuck's sakes. LP first posted this in 2018 for the context, and what an on-point prediction. I remember a more innocent time. When two bros would chill in a hot tub, six feet apart, not because of a global pandemic, but merely because they were not gay. Good times, bro. Fun fact, did you know that spiders are actually 12 foot tall and they're chasing you as you read this? Bucky Joe, please, I'm begging you not to do this. You know I have to. Okay, my mom has these Winnie the Pooh salt and pepper shakers on the stove, but Christopher Robin fell over and it looks like he's having a breakdown while Pooh dissociates. Hmm. I had a dream where I was sitting in a dark office, and reality felt really altered and strange. 
and there was just a fish tank illuminating the room. And then this fucking fish looked at me and grinned with human teeth. And this super deep voice said, You've been here a while. Better wake up before you forget how to. And I fucking woke up in a cold sweat. Dude, I think you went to hell. You know what I want to know? How the fuck did Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper make a fucking cinnamon shaker for a baby? Solve that mystery, Steve. That is paprika, you ignorant slut! Excuse me, asshole! That is cinnamon, he was born in the fourth season. Paprika looks like this. That's fucking paprika. She's cinnamon older sister. Goddamn, Tumblr, I'm fucking done with your shit! Tumblr's getting heated over Blue's Clues. Good times. Did you know some people stop being tired? Like they can enjoy a cup of coffee, then go on with their day feeling awake and functional? That they don't feel exhausted all day long? Like, that's so weird. What's up with that? Uh, source? OP, where's the source? OP, where's the source? Team of people and there's one girl is literally the worst trope and I'm tired of it. It's weird because it's always like, we need one of each personality trope. And then, this one's personality is girl. <sighs> yep. Today I learned Thomas Jefferson had a Shetland sheep that he kept on the White House lawn described as this abominable animal. It would attack people who took shortcuts across the lawn, injuring a few people, and even killing a small boy. Well, they just let any shit happen back then, huh? Lin-Manuel Miranda's a coward for not showing this in Hamilton! Okay, so, like, there's a dude on Twitter saying nuggets are good, too, when they're boiled, so, um, I'm trying it right now. Update! It's hella good! They're better than fried nuggets! This is the worst thing I've read, and I'm tempted to try it immediately. Stoodle Creep, are you talking about chicken nuggets? Did you boil chicken nuggets? I did boil chicken nuggets! Character in a fight scene. Restrains their opponent by pinging them against the wall by their wrists. Mm. Pins their opponent down by straddling their waist and holding their wrists to the floor. Oh. Lifting their disarmed opponent's chin slightly into the business end of their weapon. Oh. Pins down the opponent and leans in close to whisper in their ear. Mm. Restrains the opponent by twisting their arms behind their back and pinning them to the wall chest first with their own chest pressing against their opponent's back. <laughs> Restrains opponent's arms in a lock hold with their own entangling their arms together, forcing their bodies to be pressed together and faces in close proximity. <laughs> Holds opponent by collar, lifts them, and brings them close to their face. 